This is an unboxing of the Corsair Hydro H100 Extreme Performance Liquid CPU Cooler. Now this uh, CPU cooler is from the ever popular range of uh, advanced uh, liquid coolers from uh, Corsair. They're compact water cooling systems uh, similar to the H50, H60, H70 and H80. As you can see it has a, a dual fan uh, design to a dual 120mm. Just read the specifications in the front. It has support for LGA 775. You really shouldn't be using this on a 775 uh, CPU. Uh, it's got uh, support for 1155 and 1156 because they have the same mounting points. 13C6, an AM2 and AM3 compatibility. Go on to the side. We see the specifications. Radio dimensions 122mm by 275 by 27 deep. Fan dimensions 120mm by 25 deep. Fan speed is up to 2600 RPM. These are pulseless modulation 4 pin fans. Fan airflow is 92 CFM. That is quite a lot of airflow. Uh, fan noise level is up to 39 decibels, which is a uh, considerable uh, amount of, of extra noise. Uh, if you were to buy this, you're probably best off buying different fans, even ones maybe LED fans to be able to get better performance. Uh, static pressure, and this is the most critical for a radiator, is a uh, 7.2 millimeters of H2O, which is quite a lot of air pressure. So you probably will get quite decent performance out of the stock fans. On the back, we just have a bit of a spiel. Cooling performance for the most demanding systems. Of course, our Hydro Series liquid CPU coolers provide a compact, easy to install, and maintenance-free alternative to bulky, noisy air coolers. Efficiently, efficiently cooling and protecting your high-performance Intel or AMD CPU. It's nice to see that uh, Corsair have a sense of humor when they talk about high-performance AMD CPUs. <laughs> performance times two, featuring full 240mm radiator and two uh, performance match 120mm fans. The Corsair Hydro Series H100 Extreme Performance Liquid Cool uh, Liquid CPU Cooler is designed to deliver cooling performance that meets the needs of even the most demanding performance enthusiasts. Controlling if, uh, your fingertips, the low profile integrated pump and cold plate includes a push button and control so you can select the fan speed and cooling performance setup that best suits your needs. The white LED display lets you know at a glance which profile is being used. And then have a little bit of a, a graph that has a Core i7 920 at 3.8 GHz, 100% load. Our Hydro Series H100 is has it at 66.5 degrees, H80 68.2, H60 78.9, and then just for the stock cooler, they don't even bother listing the temperature, they just say fair, which makes uh, the, the uh, graph a little bit biased there. Turn around to the, the top, just have some pictures and same sort of spiel. See the front and the bottom is just the same sort of thing, just talks about box contents, H100, uh, Corsair Link Digital Connector, two 120mm fans with mounting screws, support for the different sockets, thermal compound pre-applied, and a quick start guide. Open it up. Find a bit of closed cell phone. You find uh, what we find with every Corsair CPU water cooler. Stop. Do not return this product to the store. You find quick start guide. A lot of pictures. That would be... is that AMD? Yeah, that's AMD. And then... That's the mounting procedure. The little solutions guide. This is 2010. <laughs> Two years out of date. H50. So don't even... You can make anymore when you've got some older memory and then case solutions and source set drives and all sorts of things. Okay, where to start? Okay, we've got the two 120 well, millimeter fans. Now, the, these fans probably, even though they ha uh, produce quite a lot of airflow and a lot of stack pressure, they probably aren't even not really the best for a radio setup because, as you can see, with the, the the motor of the fan is it takes up quite a lot of space. So if you have that on the radiator, that's it's a couple of centimeters worth of of uh, you know heat that isn't being dissipated because the, the motor is so big on the fan. So you're probably better off getting some 
uh, fans with a, a different type of of uh, motor, so you can get more out of your, your radiator. Because you've got a 200 foot mil radiator, you best get the the most what you can out of it. It's just a, a second fan, just standard course of fan. Of course, I obviously don't make fans; I license them through other companies. We have mounting brackets. These appear to be AMD. Look like that. This is the back plate. And that goes at the back of the motherboard and the plastics just to cancel out any uh, interference. Let's put that back in there. Bag of screws. And a silica gel pack. Do not eat. Then we have the pump and radiator unit itself. Get another bag. You can see the the density of uh, the aluminium fins there. The mounting spots. For the fans, you could uh, well, looks like you could easily do a, a, a push-pull setup. So you have a fan on one side intaking uh, cool air, and then the air, the air gets pushed through the fins of the radiator, and then you have another fan on the other side that pulls the air out again. You can usually uh, get a couple of degrees of of a better performance out of doing that. And then you can see the uh, CPU block with uh, the pre-applied thermal compound on the copper base. There's also the plug-in connection and the uh, f extra fan controller connections. I believe this H100 has a, you know, a fan control utility of some sort. The pipes for the um, base plate are adjustable, so no matter where you mount this in your case, just try and move it about. I mean, most circumstances uh, probably, you know, see that you'd mount it uh, at, a, at the top 240 if your case supports that and then you have it running down to the CPU or depending if you have enough space in the near the back IO little uh, the the LED indicators in the front all it all down it all connects to one Molex and a three pin uh, fan connector Thanks for watching the unboxing of the Corsair Hydro H100 Extreme Liquid CPU Cooler.